What's up, the Common Coalition here for another video for you guys today. And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of upset. Um, for those of you who may know, um, every Thursday, every Throwback Thursday, for the past few weeks, I've been uploading a 90s throwback video, like 90s toy commercial compilation or 90s video game commercial compilation or 90s Happy Meal toys compilation. Um... And I had one really special plan for this week. It took me like two weeks to put it together. Hours upon hours out of my days. I'm um, scouring VHS tapes. Transferring commercials from VHS tapes to the computer. I'm um, searching online to find clips and, and different commercials that, you know, you can't necessarily find anywhere else. And I put it together in this one big video that was going to be... I said it was going to be, I, I edited it, I put it together, it was about an hour and a half long, and I called it the 90s, your childhood summed up in one video, and the video was basically going to sum up your childhood, if you grew up in the 90s, this video, I feel, was the ultimate video, you couldn't get any better than this. Um, because I just had so many gems, so many, um, little TV recordings of things that you just can't find anywhere. Well, I uploaded it, and it got banned worldwide for different copyright reasons, which, when uploading the video, I assumed that I wouldn't be able to make any money off the video. That wasn't my intention. My intention was to preserve history. You know, for us that really like nostalgia. Because when, when, now that we're entering the digital age and the streaming age, there's tons of shows and, and movies that you grew up with that are getting forgotten about. Not just forgotten about in our minds, but they're not getting, tra they're not getting transferred over, you know, into the new age. Like, if you don't have it on a recording on a blank VHS tape, then it's nowhere out there. Yet, for some reason, these things are still copyrighted. And they won't allow you to put it on the internet. Um, it was upsetting for me because, like I said, I, didn't, I already knew that it would probably have some copyright content in there. And I figured that whoever the copyright owners would be would, you know, take whatever earnings off the video and allow the video to stay up there. Because, you know, sometimes when you have like a, a clip of a movie or a song or something in your video, you're not allowed to make any money off of that video, but the copyright owners are allowed to monetize your video. So that's what I thought was going to happen, because that's what usually happens with these commercial videos, but no, they banned it. Like, they don't want us to remember these old cartoons and these old 90s movies, man, and it sucks because it was going to be an awesome video. But right now, I'm pulling up to Goodwill. <laughs> Pulling up to Goodwill. Why, you may ask? Because I'm looking for old VHS tapes. Um, I actually had luck at this Goodwill um, not too long ago. I came and they just had, you know, some old crusty VHS tapes, blank ones, you know, like home recordings. And they actually had a lot of good stuff on there, like Horse Sense, Disney Channel original movies, a lot of cool commercials and stuff. That's what allowed me to make a lot of the videos that you've been seeing lately so um after this video was banned and taken down and the last one the wwe um tried to take down i had to edit it and take the wwe commercial out of it because it was an old commercial for wwf toys from 1991 yet yeah, they banned the video worldwide i don't know why but um yeah so right now I'm going to go in this Goodwill, see what I can find. Probably nothing at all, but you never know. This was a complete bust. I hate little trips like that because it's just so anticlimactic. You walk in and within 30 seconds, you know, oh, they don't have nothing in here and it's over. The hype is over. One thing about Goodwill, you never know. I'm telling you folks. 
you never know what you're gonna find in there. Um, I get burnt out on it. I've been burnt out on it for months. But I'm telling you, you can go there 20 times and not find anything at all but old used clothes and then go in there one day and just find a complete like gym, you know? So you never know. But right now, I think I'm about to go into the mall, check out Think Geek and Barnes and Nobles real quick, and after that, see what else. Always seen this more of you. He looks like he's straight out of Avatar's Last Airbender. I did pick up a few things. I didn't know these were out yet, but I picked up Taskmaster. I also picked up... Now, I knew this one was out. I picked up the Waterboy Bobby Boucher. You can't go wrong with these new Adam Sandler pops. Those Adam Sandler movies are classic. Big Daddy, Waterboy... I mean, you can't get better than that unless you're going to go with, like, Billy Madison. You know, that's probably my favorite Adam Sandler movie. Yeah. Billy, Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore, definitely. Probably my favorite Adam Sandler movies, but you can't go wrong with a what a boy. Um, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed that we get some little Nicky Pops. But, yeah. Also got Hopper. Ooh. I mean, I got The Red Guardian probably um more excited to see the red guardian and black widow than i am black widow herself so i'm really excited for this pop i didn't know that the black widow um products were already coming out also i'm not sure if they have mystery minis or not i didn't see any but i definitely wanted some um but yeah i wasn't aware that they already came out mind you i haven't been keeping up with pops like i should um well i can't say like i should probably like i shouldn't because i have thousands of pops now but um i try not to get too hyped for them because i just want to spend too much money and sometimes it's not even the money factor it's the space factor um, i'm just running out of space so i'm trying to buy like the most nostalgic pops for me like of course the water boy is a very nostalgic movie for me um 
So I had to have that in the collection. And then you guys know I love the MCU. I didn't feel a need for a Black Widow pop from the movie simply because I have Lord knows how many Black Widow pops already, but I was definitely happy to add Taskmaster and the Red Guardian to the collection, but I've seen a lot of debate on, online, like, who is this new Taskmaster? And I'm not sure. A lot of people are saying they think it's going to be one of Black Widow's sisters, um, which I'm not really too pleased about that. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh... I just, I'm not really a fan for taking characters and changing their genders, really. I love strong characters, you know, strong female characters, don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily want to see, like, Taskmaster be a woman. You know, I don't really need that. I'd definitely rather it be, you know, the traditional Taskmaster. But we know that's not what we're going to get, so we'll have to see. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you have any theories for Black Widow? Are you out there hunting down these Black Widow pops? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, now, I feel like I need to step it up in the high gear and try to track down these Black Widow Legends because if the pops are out, the Legends can't be too far behind. Alright, so the other day I was bored just looking through eBay and I came across this random listing for one mystery Funko Pop. I noticed the price was only $5.66. I was like, what the heck, you know, like, is this a bootleg? Is this going to be like, you know, like some type of scam? So I have no idea what's in this box. It could be a grail for all I know. But for $5.66, I doubt it. And like I said, $5.66 shipped so this i know firsthand shipping pops this is gonna cost you damn near five bucks to ship so i mean i don't know what to expect but for five dollars and 66 cents i figured i would do it just to show you guys on the youtube channel so you never know okay okay it's bubble wrap and everything five dollars and 66 cents shipped and I get a better package pop than you get from Walmart or Target. Um, box seems to be in pretty good shape and from what I can see it's a real pop and it's actually a pop that I wanted. I was just about to buy this today but the new um, Black Widow pops came out so I decided to go that way. But here we have Dr. Seuss. Here we have Dr. Seuss. All right, now I already showed you what I picked up today, but before I let you go, I figured it would be wrong if I didn't unbox these pops for you guys and give you a better look. Now here we have the Red Guardian, Hopper himself. Definitely a dope little pop. And let's get a quick look at Taskmaster. Now, they also had a different Taskmaster, as you can see on the back of the box. He had a hood, you know, the traditional look. But I decided to go with this one because, I don't know, I just thought he looked a little more interesting with a bow and arrow. He looks pretty cool, but not very Taskmaster-y to me. I mean, I think they could have did a better job with the design of the character, but it is what it is. But, hey, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I know I enjoy going on a quick little pop hunt. These pops actually make me a little bit more excited for the Black Widow movie, because I'm not really too hyped for it, but I think it's going to be pretty dope. But drop that thumbs up button, drop a comment below. And as always, you have a good day, YouTube.